seven months ago, International Relations Minister Dr. Naledi Pando said tang tongues wagging when she made remarks about the kind of bilateral relationship that she envisions for Africa and the United States. The minister was speaking at the Council on Foreign Relations and listed a number of aspects that she feels needs improving. She also had this to say about the skills that are needed on the continent. We must uh, ensure that we have greater skills development on the continent in critical skills areas. I don't think, you know, we want more arts trainers. Oh, sorry to the arts people. <laughs> uh, uh, but I think uh, science is very important, technology, engineering, because uh, those are skills we desperately need. Um, I think as well in the finance and economic sectors, we need highly trained people then information and communication technology. So skills uh, uh, would, would be critical. Um, and we've had, as South Africa, very good relations in the science and technology domain, very strong research partnerships between the United States and South Africa. I would like to see more centers of excellence on the African continent focused on research and innovation. All right. Now, the minister has since apologized to artists for any offense she might have caused, or at least the offense caused by her comments. And that was, of course, after widespread outrage from many artists, including legendary performer Maralo, who says that this apology does not go far enough. In fact, uh, she says that the minister's apology is insincere and joins us now via our telephone line. For more on her sentiments, Me Maralo, it's great to have you on the program. Thank you so much indeed for agreeing to speak to us. There's plenty being said about what you said, but as a start, in that statement released by the minister's department, she says her comments were misunderstood. How do you respond to that? Yo, that's where my, my, my stomach turns, you know. Uh, good morning, Ayanda Nyati. Thank you for inviting me to be part of this discussion. My, my, I just, my, my, stum my heart hurts when I listen to that, when I hear that video time and time again, and I listen. But what, what really what really went me up the wrong way is the giggling after mm. she said those that that after she said that horrible thing that she said i don't i don't know if she was operating on a full monkey or she was not thinking straight because the way she undermined the creative sector it, it speaks volumes to most of us how how a whole minister in the government that we voted in can stand in a podium, on a podium, and say what she said. Uh, it, it hurts so deep that the apology, which, we, we, you know, that she, the, the office, the office sent us that, uh, that uh, we, she has been misunderstood. There is no misunderstanding. She could, she could have said that thing in any African language. It would still hurt. But she, she like, she sees she sees the, the creative industry as just people who are waste, wasting oxygen. Uh, now, there's one thing that I would say she could have, she could have elaborated on. Because when she says uh, uh, that we need more uh, scientists and that and blah, 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 and we don't need the arts. Ha! Yeah, okay. Yo, I was like, what is she saying? We do, uh, we do recommend. Oh dear, it, it looks like we've lost our connection there to uh, Mara Lowe, who was just, I suppose, giving us her first take response to those remarks made by International Relations Minister Nali Pando. A couple of weeks ago, actually, that video clip that we played for you was only made available just a few days ago, and I suppose that's what sparked this widespread outrage. Uh, Marlo, it seems we have you back on the line. You were just really Yes, um, I can hardly out. hear you. I don't know if it's my phone, which is an old phone. Right. <laughs> You're speaking softer. Your volume is very soft. I can hardly hear you. My colleagues in the gallery, I'm sure, are eavesdropping to our conversation. They'll, they'll do what they can. I'll also just try to announce, uh, enunciate my words a bit better. But what this moment also reveals to us, certainly from a um, uh, particular people's vantage point, is the sentiment around the arts, right? Um, part of what that statement from the department actually does is almost um, hide behind technicalities around what critical skills are. And perhaps yeah. it's an opportunity for us to speak about how critical the arts are, especially when you consider 
what people ironically relied on to get through COVID-19 from a psychological point, uh, perspective. It was the exactly. odds. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, during COVID, uh, I mean, we could go all the way back during any pandemic, during any, during winter time when artists can't even go on stage to perform because it's too cold to go in an open stadium. But during COVID, a lot of artists, we went through hard, hardship, hard times because we are not p- permanently employed anywhere. We depend on being booked for this event or for that. And this is not just about art performing artists. It's, it's also about, theater, you know, like theater and graphic arts. You know, there were people who would be selling their, their paintings and selling whatever stuff they couldn't be on the street. A lot of artists, there's quite a few people in the art industry who committed suicide for not being able to feed their families or feed themselves. But Minister Pando, uh, I don't know what got into her, and I, I had a lot of respect for her mm. for, for many years. In fact, I was advocating for her to be maybe our first woman president in this country. But now, after what she said, I'm glad we just kind of put that on the, on the bed banner because she, she actually insulted us, and then they laughed. Whoever was laughing, standing, being next to her, it's like we are a waste of oxygen, you know. Now, you know, through my experiences, having been in, 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 the, in the industry, in the creative industry for more than 50 years, I turned 70 recently, just to hear her say that, I thought of people like Miriam Makeba, who without Miriam Makeba, Gwangwa, Jonas Gwangwa, Hugh Masikela, Abdullah Ibrahim, who's still alive, and a whole lot more. Who were, who were fighting apartheid while they were in exile. And some of us here at home who, were, who did not go to exile were fighting apartheid in every means to get a government that is not going to do the evil things that we experienced during apartheid. And we voted for this government. And the minister from this government turns around and, 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 and refers to us as people who actually should not be taken interest in. For me, it was the biggest insult, and I, I want her to apologize. And I know they say she, she, she has apologized. No, 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 no. She has not apologized, because I want her to do it in all the official languages of this country, including the Hoysan, because we've got artists from the Hoysan, we've got creatives from all societies in this country. She has to do that if she wants to regain our, 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 the feeling of us having, giving up on this government. We yeah. don't want to go there, and I don't want to say it. Because, we you know, we artists, every time when there's elections, good Lord, we run around trying to motivate people to vote. We do all kinds of things. That's when they like us. And after that, we are just trash as far as she's concerned. Hmm. And I'm not saying she should not be concerned. There is probably a shortage. What she, what she could have perhaps said was to simply say we have a shortage of participants in the science and technology, but not not to dampen and discourage the upcoming youth, the young ones, from getting into show business. Instead, she could be helping us build schools where the younger generation could go and learn about that craft. There's people like uh, Dr. Piti Kanduli, who could be given a school where she go- he goes and teaches his artwork to younger people. But the way uh, Naledi Pando, minister, you know, we should, we're supposed to call him minister. The way she has, what she said, really cuts to the bone. Yeah. And I'm not going to cut, you know, like go around the corner and say she, uh, maybe she's right. No, no, she is 100%, 100% wrong to put those kinds of aspirations against people who have done nothing wrong to, 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 to her and her department. Instead, we work we traveled around the world promoting, fighting for democracy, fighting to get rid of apartheid. Suddenly I felt like this is a minister of apartheid time. Hmm. Why, why does she say things like that about the act, about creative, about... So I'm sorry, her apology is not acceptable to me. Sure. I don't know other people, but I know there's a whole lot of people, I mean, on, 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 the, on social media. And, and other platforms where we are participating in. 
we are very upset. We are very disappointed. Let me put it that way. Sure. All right. And if that apology of hers thinks it, 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 it's acceptable, unfortunately, it is not acceptable. I think one thing can be said for certain. She could have made that point without taking a swipe at artists. Um, but I, exactly. I, I'm more interested in, you know, who she is, perhaps. You know, not a, as an attempt to absolve her, but a, as a, an attempt to have a more nuanced discussion, because that's what the arts also does, right? It's not just about what we see and hear, but it's about thinking through the different layers. Does it matter yeah. to you who she actually is? I mean, part of what you said in our discussion is that this is someone you had great respect for, someone who you thought was even worthy enough of being in the president's office at some stage. And given yeah. the fact that she's now said this, um, what's a response to people who ask the question about whether none of that matters? Yeah, I know none of that matters now. Uh, and uh, it's unfortunate because, uh, in fact, you know, the, the whole system in government of having, uh, and I'm, I, please, no disrespect to all the ministers who have been ministers of arts and culture. I'm not going to go into that. Their failures and their mm. successes, whichever, people, whichever way people look at it. First of all, we don't need for a politician to be a minister of arts and culture. We need people who have been in the industry for such a long time. I've got a few names that could be dropping them right now. I've got Ndade John, John, John Kahn, could be our minister of arts and culture. He's been through the drill. He knows this industry back to front. We've got all kinds of, we've got with Dr. Nawa. We've got, we've got so many people who qualify, even in the, in the women's, Section. And I'm not going to say uh, we need another woman to be this or another woman and fighting for women's rights. Obviously, I fight for women's rights. But when it comes to, that's why there's no respect for us. We are like little children who should always be going with a begging bowl to be respected and acknowledged by a government who keeps bringing people who know nothing about this industry, who don't see anything. They just see and they see us as waste of energy, waste of oxygen. Now, what, what my lady Pando did is exactly that. She just put, a, you know, she gave us the middle finger, you know, which is unfortunate. And then that giggling in that video, it's the one that really winds me up the wrong way. The yeah. giggling is like, <laughs> you know, I don't know what, I don't know what got into them. But I'm disappointed and I'm not going to change how I feel about her. I am very disappointed that she, she had the guts to stand in, a, in, a, in, a, in an international platform and dismiss the artists of this country. That's exactly what she did. Absolutely. Loud and clear, uh, veteran performer, Marilo, thanks very much indeed for sharing your sentiments. I think it's important to give those sentiments as much of a platform as perhaps the minister got when she made those initial remarks. Marilo, of course, a veteran uh, artist in our country. Thanks once again for your time.